Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I picked up the camera to vlog, like way too long, but today is my birthday and it is the start of my birthday festivities. I have a lot of things planned for the next few days, so I thought I would bring you guys along. So to be honest, we kind of started celebrating last night. So last night, late last night, Dominic was super anxious for me to open the presents from him to me. So I ended up opening those because they were just like staring me in the face and I really wanted to open them. So we did that. And then one of the things he got me was like a mount, a car mount for my phone. So I can like look at it easier when I'm driving with like the maps app. Anyway. Um, we were in my car and we were goofing around and I'm not someone that's very spontaneous. I'm very much a planner, but I was feeling really spontaneous last night. So I was like, let's go to the grocery store. Let's get a cheesecake. We're going to celebrate. So yeah, my birthday kind of started last night. We were having a lot of fun with it. And then today's my actual birthday. And weirdly enough, this is like the second or third time that I've actually had to leave the house for my job and it just so happens that it is on my birthday so today i'm going to a client site which is why i look so nice and it is chilly outside i think it is supposed to be a high of only like 60 today so i whipped out like the long sleeve and yeah so of course the first thing that i'm doing is it is a little after 7 30 and the client is about an hour away so i'm gonna stop and get my starbucks birthday drink to start off my birthday so i pull into the drive through and it's literally so long like it's a thursday morning why is it so busy it's 7 30. um so i pull into the parking lot because i'm like oh i'll just go in it'll be way faster well, the inside is closed, which is probably why the drive through is so freaking long. Um, but I have about 20 minutes of leeway. I originally had 30, but I've been like driving here, sitting in the parking lot, realizing that I can't go in, waiting in line, all that. So hopefully the line is, hopefully I'm out of here within 20 minutes so that I can get to the client site by nine. Okay, I just made it out of Starbucks. Speed bump. Okay, I got a chocolate almond milk shake and espresso and I have 12 minutes to spare. So I am going to drive to the client site. Hey you guys, it is the next day. Yesterday, I literally just worked all day at the client site and I came home and I was so exhausted. So I pretty much just went to bed. But today is Friday night and we are going to my birthday dinner and we're getting hibachi so we are leaving for that right now so just curled my hair i have some basic jewelry on i just have a plain black shirt some leggings and then these like steve madden shoes and we're gonna go get hibachi we are starving <laughs> Good morning everyone it is saturday morning now so last night hibachi was so good um the drinks there are always so strong i always like i have one drink and i get so drunk i know i'm a lightweight but also like their drinks there are so strong that even one drink there when i was in college was really not good so um yeah we have hibachi i got filet and shrimp and you know normally they make it all in front of you and then put it on your plate and the guy forgot to bake my filet so he had asked someone else um like one of the other cooks to make it put it on my plate so um i was basically done by the time i got my filet which is kind of odd but um it was really good anyway currently i am uh, on my way to get my hair cut so i had a very very strong urge to cut my hair short again and i was so close to doing it and then the past probably like week or so i started curling my hair and it takes so much less time than straightening my hair because my hair is more naturally curly than straight so i decided against it i think i think i'm just gonna get a trim and grow it out again because i just feel like my curled hair 
that I've been doing lately won't look as good if I like chop my hair off right here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna grow it out long again. So that is where I'm headed and I will show you guys what it looks like when it is all done. All right, you guys, I just got done and this is what it looks like. I think it looks so good curled. I'm definitely gonna continue curling it. Obviously her uh, curling is better than mine, but I love it. Also, something really funny happened. So I walked in and I checked in and then um, my hair was like curled this morning and the lady at the front desk was like, oh, do you have homecoming tonight? And I was like, no, I am graduated from college, like I'm 23. Um, and she was like so embarrassed, but I thought it was so funny that like she still thought I was 16. <laughs> Cause I think homecoming in the city is tonight so that's probably they have a lot of homecoming appointments and stuff so she probably just assumed but i don't know if i should be offended or flattered that she thought it was 16. so i just pulled into my neighborhood and i drove to my place to pull into the driveway because i park in the driveway and in front of me pulling into the neighborhood there was a flower delivery truck and it literally like pulled into my driveway so I had to drive around the neighborhood and come back and he was gone but I wonder if Dominic got me flowers for my birthday hmm. hello you guys it is the next morning last night I actually went to the Brewers game with my mom so it was kind of a late night and I just came home and passed out basically, but it is the next morning and I'm about to make some coffee and we got a new coffee maker and I love it so, so much. Um, but right now Dom fell asleep in the living room last night, so he is sleeping out there and I don't want to wake him up. So I'm going to do like a little voiceover of the new coffee maker and show you guys my drink that I've been making. It's a ninja something something coffee maker. I'll link it down below, but it literally does everything. All right, so this is our new coffee maker. It is a ninja. Don't mind the labels. We kept those on there so we still know how to use it. One of my favorite things about this coffee maker is the water container so that you don't have to fill your mug of water and put it into the machine every time you use it. What I love is that it does anything you could possibly want. So you could make a big pot of coffee or you can pull this thing down for a little mug of coffee for a K-cup or just a single serve with grounds. On the side here you can see that a frother comes out to the side and then there's also a scooper that comes with it that lets you know how much coffee grounds to use depending on how much coffee you want. And then on the side here is a little dial and you can switch it for if you want hot water or to brew coffee. So now I'm going to show you the cup of coffee that I've been making. So I've been lining my cup with the white chocolate syrup. And then I fill the cup with some ice. Then I slide it under the coffee maker. I put it right on the tray instead of sliding the thing down because otherwise it doesn't fit. Then I use the scooper and do two to three of those small scoops because I'm just making one cup of coffee. I've been using Dunkin' coffee, but really any grounds work. Then you just close the little coffee slot and it's time to choose what kind of coffee you want. So I am doing it over ice and then you can adjust um, the amount of ounces that you want and then you just push the button to start it and it'll brew. I've been using this oat milk pumpkin spice creamer, so I'll just pour a little bit in this cup and then I'm gonna get ready to froth it. Once it's frothed, I just pour it over the iced coffee once that is done brewing. And then I just top it off with some cinnamon. Hey guys, it is Sunday night. I am on my way to go out to my birthday dinner with my parents and Don was supposed to come with me, but Casper, our dog, is just being an absolute nightmare. He has really bad separation anxiety, so when we leave him home, we have to leave him in the cage, and he just freaks out. Okay, sorry if it's loud. You guys are now 
in my steering wheel so that I can talk to you because I don't want to like be holding my phone while I'm driving, you know? Um, yeah, so basically, he had, oh, okay. Some guy is zooming next to me. Okay, I'm not gonna get over, I guess. Um, so basically, he has just been absolutely terrible with like separation anxiety and stuff. Okay, some guy is totally on my butt. I don't understand. Okay, um, he's been so bad with separation anxiety lately. Like we went out to dinner Friday night and we left him home for like an hour and a half and we came back and his paw was all bloody and there are so many bite marks on the cage and he is just freaking out. Today we even gave him some Benadryl before we left and he, it was like the worst I've ever seen him. So unfortunately Dom had to stay home and I'm gonna get to dinner like right when our reservation is because I was just trying to like get Casper to cooperate I guess and so that Dom could also come to dinner with us, but um, he just has to stay home with Casper because one, we don't want Casper to injure himself and we don't want anything damaged at the house. So we thought it would just be better if, you know, Dom stayed back, unfortunately, but we need to figure something out because we should be able to go grocery shopping, go out to dinner, leave for like an hour or two and not have him freak out. 